When we look at blood flow into and out of the kidneys, we start off with the renal artery. Renal artery comes in with oxygenated but unfiltered blood. Renal artery starts breaking off and branching into the different segments. So we have a segmental artery. Segmental artery continues all the way up in between the lobes as the interlobar artery. Interlobar artery arches around on the arcuate artery. Arcuate means arched. And then continues out into the cortex on the interlobular arteries. If we look at this model here, this is actually a renal lobe. We've got the pyramid, we've got the associated tissue around it, and we see the same blood supply. Interlobar artery in red, arcuate artery, and then interlobular artery. The interlobular artery goes into and out of a glomerular capsule. So we have an afferent line coming in, and it goes into a glomerulus, which is the capillary bed, and then an efferent line going out. So afferent in, efferent out, afferent in, efferent out. As it goes out, filtration takes place here, but as it goes out, this is where we have gas exchange. These are on the peritubular capillaries. Peritubular capillaries, you can see like a normal capillary bed, we have gas exchange from oxygenated to deoxygenated blood. That's why you see the switch from red to blue. We call them peritubular because the tubes of the nephron, peritubular, are around those tubes. And then we come back on the venous counterpart of each one of those. Interlobular veins meet up with the arcuate veins in blue. Interlobar veins, we see the same thing here. Interlobular veins, arcuate veins, interlobar veins, segmental veins, and then the renal vein comes out with deoxygenated filtered blood.